bata 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 Drop it in my car, you know we can chat We no coffee sing, we no comfy rap When we in a full flight, lyrics coming non-stop Lyrics them a fire, and lyrics them a shot We a good MC, we no round up We a the artist thing about ya They fan top, everybody know what just us so we stop Cha! Hi, I'm Craig Blundell, and I'm very proud to show you the new addition to the V-Drums family, the SPD-SX. The SPD-SX is so powerful as a performance tool or even a practice tool. What I'm going to do is give you a quick left to right demonstration of what all the buttons do. So firstly, we have the straightforward power button, followed by the master control knob. Now there's two separate outputs on the SPDS. We can use the master out, or we can send the sub out, which is just underneath the masters. So you can send to your bass player or other members of the band, um, or in a studio environment. We then have the headphone volume. And the most important thing for me, which, which really is relevant to drummers you want to use this as a live performance tool, is click. With the SPDSX, we can assign a speed of all the tempos of the pads and have the click in our ears, which is great for if you want to um, play a pad or you want to play some keyboards live or a synth noise, you can start the whole band off by just basically hitting the pad and the click of that track will be in your ears. Really, really strong. So next up, we have control one, control two, filter, delay, S loop, which is my particular favorite, and effects. It's probably easiest instead of going into how they all work just to demonstrate what they do. So I'm going to just basically trigger a bass line on pad 8 here. So let's look at S loop. It's really, really cool for DJing live, obviously, and adding some really kind of effects to your arsenal. Now, if I can um, go into my main menu here, press menu, and then go to system and enter off system, I'm at master effect. There we go, S loop. Now it's saying manual, which is basically a sweep up or sweep down. I can change the values. If I go to auto quarter or auto eighth or auto sixteenth notes, you can change the texture of the S loop. So we'll go to quarters. I'll exit off that, and exit again, and we'll do exactly the same thing playing it. So really, really cool. So now we arrive at the screen and we see three shortcut buttons around the screen. Firstly, which is really important for me personally, if I'm playing live and one of the samples is slightly too loud, I can change the volume by pressing pad volume, hitting the pad and taking the volume down with my plus or minus. I can also choose which effects I want or on or off. And finally, tempo. Now I can tap tempo 
or once again, I can change the tempo of the click. If I want the click on, just press start or stop, or I can use it with a pad. Now, when a sample's playing, there's two ways to test how loud that sample is on the SPDSX. If I hit the sample again, you'll see my pad illuminator is lit up. If it stays completely red, it means the samples run too hot into the module. Or, by using the two volume indicators at the bottom. Really simple. And now we arrive at the main menu. It's really, really simple to use. Let me show you. We just press menu and we have six categories. I use my cursor keys to navigate all those categories, up, down, left or right. And I use enter to go into which category I want. First off, let's look at kit. I press enter and you can already see, if I go to common, it will give you the kit volume, the kit tempo and the pad link. I can then press, using my shortcut keys, output. And you can see where each pad is outputted to and then it's MIDI capabilities. If I want to come out of that, I just press exit and it will take you back to the main menu. Next up, we have the pad settings. So if I press right cursor, we can go into the pad settings. So from there, you can, you can do so many things from panning to the mute groups, or you can choose your loop. Now the loops are really important for me. Uh, with SPDSX, you can have them on a phrase loop, which is, which is great for, for having things like DJing, etc. Or you can have them on a one shot. So great for percussion or simple one shot hits. Or you can choose as well to how long, how you, how long you want that loop to go for. Two, four or eight bars. Really, really strong. We then go to the sub outputs and the assignability of the sub. Once again, I press exit. We're then at effects and press enter. And then you can see which controls which effect. Very simple again. Exit off it. We come down to utilities. Now this is really important to see how long you've got left sampling time in the SPDSX. So if I enter off that, I go down to information and I press enter. You can see we have two hours and 52 minutes of stereo time and five hours and 45 minutes of mono time. Really cool. Come back once again and go to setup where this is the general settings, so brightness, etc., sensitivity of each pad, really easy to navigate, and it's just up, down, left or right. And then finally, system. I can enter off the system. We have the master effect, the click, audio in or out, the kit chain, which is a real important one for me. So if I'm playing a gig and I have samples on, say, kit two, and the next stage of it is on, say, kit 80, I can set up a kit chain, which I can just go between two and 80. So you don't have to go plus, you don't have to hold down shift and, and plus or minus to get to the kits. It will just go to the kit chain that you've set up. Really, really cool. And once again, I can exit off that. Or I can just press kit if I wanted to, and it'll take you back to your main user screen. So now let's take a look at the various connections on the back of the SPDSX. First up, we have the USB memory connector, as we discussed earlier. Secondly, we have the computer connector, so you can connect to your Mac or PC, and then your power. Followed by the MIDI in and out, and the gain knob. This adjusts the volume that's inputted into the audio jacks, which are next to it. Next to the audio jacks, we have the sub out. You can connect them to your mixer or audio system. These jacks output the sound of only the pads that you've specified. Next to the sub out, we have the master out. Underneath the master out, we have the headphone jack. Next to the headphone input, we have the trigger in jacks. And finally, the foot switch jack. A foot switch can be connected and used to control so many different things. And finally, for this short video, we arrive at what this unit is all about, sampling. There are three main ways we can input our samples, for me personally, um, and they all work great. Uh, firstly, we use the audio inputs. So we could put in a keyboard, or we could put an iPod, um, or even a vocal. And what we pretty much do is press sampling, and you see we're on the screen of basic sampling. Enter off that, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Start, stop with your, each individual volume on there. Really simple. I can, if I wanted to, if I wanted to sample more and I wanted to assign, let's say if I had an iPod and I was playing a track, I could go to multi-mode and I'd start sampling. And when I go to the second stage of a song or a verse or chorus, I'd hit the pad and just keep going through the whole song. When you finish, press stop 
and all the separate bits of the song will be on your, your, your SPDSX. Really, really strong. The second way I like to get my samples into the, into the module is a USB key. Now, if I have all my WAV files, pop it in, and I basically assign them to the SPDSX. Very simple if you're on a gig, especially if you're out backed up, pop it in there and assign. Really, really easy. And finally, the strongest one for me is the connectivity with uh, PC or Mac. Now, it pretty much is drag and drop. What you do is connect it up, USB key, and it brings up a really cool picture, which you're gonna see on your screen now, of the SPDSX with my sample library down the side. I can then change my kit patches, kit names, and I literally drag them from the left to the right onto the master or the sub outputs. Sampling has never been so easy. So there you have it, the SPDSX. Um, I've used it for over a month now. Incredibly strong, powerful, powerful musical instrument. If you're just into practicing your favorite tunes or performing it, having a three piece band and making them sound like a massive orchestra, this is for you. Don't check my word for it, play one for yourself. See you next time. We are good MC, we're not grown up, but we are the artists in our bones.